So with this easterly flow coming around this trough of low pressure over the Bahamas, our rain chance will stay high and it's all due to the tropics. The National Hurricane Center has been monitoring this area over the central Bahamas and these uh, red and oranges show you the cold cloud tops or the most intense thunderstorms. And over the next few days, this is going to drift in our direction before kind of splitting off. Some of the moisture is going to go in the Gulf and uh, part of this is going to drift off to the north and the National Hurricane Center is giving this a 20% chance of developing. They just updated this at 8 o'clock. It looks like more five, seven days off the coast of the Carolinas. This has a chance to uh, get its act together, but for us, it's just going to bump our rain chance up and I'll show you how that looks on the predictor model. Here's this area high pressure. Here's a little surface drop and we're starting off here this morning. As we get towards Friday, you see the little bump in the winds here as it approaches Florida. That's enough to kick up some showers and thunderstorms and also bring more of this tropical moisture into place. And as we progress through Friday and the weekend, that moves over the state and that's going to bring us more showers and more thunderstorms for Saturday and Sunday. Here's what it looks like on the seven day forecast. 40% chance today. Sunshine throughout the afternoon and the sunshine will be a little more limited over the weekend, but we won't rule it out completely and we'll get back to more of a normal weather pattern for early next week.